Future trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hi, welcome to the July 12th edition of Basis Loaded with Joe Schmidt. I am Joe Schmidt. This episode, as always, is produced by Paige Driscoll. And what we do here is break down the latest from the NDPSR report. Let's start with butter this time. This butter number coming in at 245.91 represents a plus four to the CME one week average of 241.60. That's what 21 loads traded on the CME last week. That volume, of course, does not translate here to the NDPSR. It's important to remember that last week was a holiday week, so you can expect a lower than normal basis with 21 loads traded on the exchange and our expected 3.5 million NDPSR volume this week coming in at just a little bit above 2 million. Certainly a disappointment. Plus four is higher than our expected two cent positive basis. However, all in all, I'd have to say that that butter number is a little bit of a disappointment in terms of both price and volume. Up next in the cheese complex, we will start with blocks, 143.02. That represents a meager plus three to the CME one-week average of 139.81. Plus three is in line with our historical basis. However, that's a little bit lower than we've been running lately. We traded 12 loads last week at the CME, and again, sharply reduced volume reported here on the NDPSR. 10,800,000, well below our 12.5 million pound benchmark. So normal basis on sharply lower than expected volume, even for a holiday week. I think 10.8 is a surprise to most. And in the barrels, 149.50. That represents a plus five to the CME two-week average of 144.52. Now, plus five is right in the middle of our four to six cent expected positive basis. Last week at the CME, we traded a whopping 93 loads. Not a record for one week at the CME. However, definitely a record for four-day sessions at the CME. That 93 loads equates to 3.7 million pounds. So even with the holiday week, you would expect higher than normal volume. And we did achieve 14.1 million pounds, which is above our 13.5 expected NDPSR reported volume. However, that's with 3.7 million on the exchange. So I'd have to say that's light volume for barrels on normal basis. And that light volume comes with 93 loads traded at the CME. So obviously end users pushed back on some previously contracted loads and decided to fill in with spot loads at the CME instead. In way, 27.65. That represents a plus one to the CME one week average of 26.69. Now, at the CME last week in Way, we traded 42 loads, so the equivalent of 1.7 million pounds. That 1.7 million pounds going at, in at last week's CME weekly average minus freight went a long way to pull that NDPSR average price down. You'll notice that we dropped, call it a little bit over a penny from prior week's NDPSR and almost three and a half under the June 24th NDPSR benchmark of 3109. So prices similar to the CME here on the NDPSR are trending lower. The NDPSR volume for Way came in at 5.8 million pounds, which is a little bit lower than we've experienced in recent weeks. And if you take out the 1.7 that we traded at the CME last week, that would say that on contracts, end users took 4 million pounds. Again, we were expecting, you know, in all things being normal, we would expect a 4.5 million pound contracted level for way. And of course, we had one day off. So it seems like volume and waste still seems to be moving. However, the manufacturer is having to discount in order to get that product sold. And then lastly, non-fat, 
117.98, an uptick in nonfat on NDPSR values. That's with five loads traded at the CME last week, and that is a positive basis, a positive three and a half basis to the CME one week average of 114.50. So light volume at the CME, holiday shortened week for regularly scheduled shipments. That is all reflected here in the nonfat volume total coming in well short of our expected 20 million pounds, only at 13.4 million. So this is week two of five for the July pricing cycle. Currently getting a July class three of 13.72, a little bit of an uptick from my original prediction. July class four, 1811. If you carry a current CME equivalents out through the entirety of the August four week pricing cycle, currently getting August class three of 1412 and August class four all the way up at 18 and a quarter. So this inverted class three, class four spread continues out into the future as long as things hold as is at the CME. We'll see what they have in store for us in the weeks to come. Until then, on behalf of Paige and the entire Everag Insights team, I'm Joe. See you next week. Bye.